When a girl cut my toe, it shows you danger, it could be poison. She accidentally texted me the wrong address. Someone's random apartment, and it's not hers. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Welcome or welcome back to another video. My name is Shatera Bionet. If you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe because I promise you, you will love it here. Okay. Welcome to my maintenance vlog for today's video. Oh, one thing about me, I'm going to do it all, okay? So I know how to do my hair, my eyebrows, my lashes, my makeup, my nails. I can do my own pedicure. I can, but today we're gonna go soak and let someone else do it so I can relax and enjoy myself. So I already have a ton of tutorials on my channel where y'all can get the nitty gritty, all the details of how to do these things at home. So what I'm gonna do to keep it fun and keep you guys entertained is tell you guys some story times of my worst experiences of getting all of these things. And I did a recent pedicure horror story but my worst horror story ever was when a girl cut my toe while doing my pedicure and I literally was bleeding into the bone yeah girl it stung it was so unhygienic and scary and I didn't pay for a damn thing and then I had to wear a band-aid on my toe with my fresh pedicure that was that defeats the purpose I was pissed but yeah Stay tuned for more stories throughout today's video. For my pedicure, I'm trying a new spot out. It's called Concept Nail Bar. It's real pretty and real bougie in there. So come on, girl, let's head out. after my pedicure let's talk about my pedicure babe 10 out of 10 will highly recommend i went again to concept nail spa baby i knew they was bougie because i walked in there before but they was booked but i didn't know that i was gonna have basically the pedicure of my life like she rubbed my feet down with an orange i ain't never had nothing like that before a day in my life and i really appreciate it because i felt all nice and citrusy and really like well exfoliated afterwards it was a great time i went to my girl tina that's about to be my person for forever she did a really good job with like just massaging me and just making sure i felt really well taken care of she made sure i had water she was asking me if the towels like the steaming towels was too hot if the water was hot enough she was getting your girl together and if you know what experience I went through the last time I got a pedicure, like last month, it was one of the worst experiences I ever had in my life. So I just feel like we redeemed our pedicure experience with Miss Tina Girl. So I gave her a fat lord tip. They wrote her name down on a card, and I will definitely be back. And it's not just about the ambiance and they're looking very bougie. Like even the bathroom was beautiful, y'all. As you probably saw the clips, but um it was the it was just the professionalism of everyone so let me get into the nitty gritty boom i walk in and someone was being helped at the front desk and then once they wrapped up i was immediately spoken to you know sometimes you walk into a store or somebody's um establishment and no one speaks to you and you just stand there looking crazy waiting on someone to give you some assistance yeah i have to worry about that um i was early for my appointment and they still let me sit down i really appreciated that and then the first girl who was going to have me, she was like, what do you want? Da, da, da. I'm like, I want fresh manicure. And I showed her a picture because 
I wasn't playing. Like, I had such a bad experience last time. I was like, I need my nails short, cut down, square. Do not round the edges. Take your time around my cuticles and get this callus off my feet. Like, I was, I wasn't playing. And I don't know, y'all, but as I get older, the feet get rougher. And I don't have time for that. I need baby butt, soft, smooth feet for the rest of my life. And I, I ain't trying to talk about them, but the elderly women in my in my life, they feet be looking crusty. <laughs> I don't want that. So she was like, I got you. I could do all that. that about, she didn't say I got you, but you know, in her language, with her accent, she was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Wait, actually, I'm skipping something. The girl who had me was like, okay, one moment. And she went and got my girl, Tina. And she was like, she's going to do your toes. I was like, okay. I feel like she saw that picture and realized that was going to take some detailed work. And maybe she didn't have the skill set or what. But um, I appreciate how she alley-hooped and passed me to someone else and didn't just say she could do it and then didn't deliver because that would have pissed me off. That would have pissed me off. But, yep, that didn't happen. She was so sweet. Um, I didn't get no weird looks from her when I was recording with my camera. Because people do be looking at you like, what did you do with no puppy in that camera? But she was, she was cool the whole time. So, I would definitely be going back. So, boom. I'm finna spill the tea on these nail techs. Yeah, I'm not even talking about the ladies at the nail shop. I'm talking about these the skin folk. The people that look like me and the horrible services that they have provided me with over these past couple of years, which has basically been the reason why ever since COVID, I was like, bucket, I ain't even about to go to nobody no more. And I'm just going to do my own stuff. The first time I outsourced a nail tech, I found her on Instagram. I'm not going to say no names because let me say this. Let me give this disclaimer. I still love her work. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not, I don't believe I will go to her again in the future, but I have like no, no bad thoughts about the girl who had did my nails. She's probably just a young entrepreneur still learning how to be professional and she probably still learning the, the, the ins and the outs of being a, pro, a, a service provider. So, you know, um, I'm not bashing anyone. And I still love her work. I still follow her on Instagram. It's, it's no bad blood. You know, it's no be Right? Right. All right. But the service she gave me was a little whack. So the first time I ever booked with her, I was going on a birthday trip. Okay. That was when I was turning. I don't remember how long. I mean, how old. Maybe 24. Yeah. And I was about to go to Cancun. So I wanted my nails done. I booked her in advance. Okay. In advance. And then... You know, as my appointment is approaching, she DM'd me and was like, what kind of nail set do you want? Let me know, da 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 I sent her pictures from her work, and boom, everything fine daddy. So, the day before my appointment comes, the day before, mind you, I probably booked like three to four weeks in advance. The day before my appointment come, y'all, she tried hey boo me. Emphasis on the try, because I was not going like that. She had the nerve to say, hey, can we change your appointment time tomorrow? I'm like, to when? Mind you, she said appointment time. Baby, why she sent me a whole different date? I'm like, no. <laughs> First off, no. I was supposed to get my nails done the day before my flight, and she wanted to switch the time. No, she wanted to switch the date to the day of my flight. So she was like, could you come at this time instead? I have an emergency. Um, and she was like, I forgot, I totally blanked and forgot that my son has a doctor's appointment at the, like, she either said at the time of my appointment or before. Mind you, my appointment was for like 6 p.m., I remember, because the sun was set when I was driving. Like, the sun was setting as I was driving. How, how you, how you, how you have your son a, a doctor's appointment and it's like 6 p.m.? So, I'm like, cat. I smell bullshit right away, immediately. And then the fact that you didn't realize your son had a doctor's appointment until the day before my appointment, you lying. Just say you probably got your dates mixed and 
you got plants or something. But don't try to bring your baby in this. Because I just know he didn't have no doctor's appointment. Unless y'all know something that I don't. And babies be having. Like she has a young son. Like babies be having. Uh, not babies. But you know like toddlers. Little kids be having a doctor's appointment after 6 p.m. Because I ain't heard nothing about that. Usually people doctor's appointments be in the morning. I don't know. That's just usually how I book my appointments. But I was like. No, sorry, can't make that time. I'll be on a flight 9 a.m. in the morning. I will no longer be in this country, friend. You gotta do my nails today. Or well, in that case, you have to do my nails tomorrow, not today. Uh, like, and I was like, I was like, mind you, it's my birthday. Like, I know you're not about to do you want to squabble or what? Because those are fighting words at that point. So of course she got caught in her, not even got caught in her lie, but she realized she couldn't do what she wanted to do, which was just change my appointment time to benefit her. And she was like, actually, I got my dates mixed up again. Your appointment time is absolutely fine. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. So boom, I head to my appointment. I am not early. I am not late. I am on time. Like when I tell you I was sitting in my car for a good two, three minutes and then I walked in and I was there at the exact time my appointment was supposed to start. Like that's how on time I am. Because I know a lot of service providers actually don't like when people come too early. It bothers them. I get that. I wasn't too early. I was working on time. So mind you, when I get there... Tell me why somebody's still sitting in her chair. You late. You're basically late. Now, if I had showed up, pulled up late, you would have you would docked me and you would have had me pay a, a late fee. So, where's your late fee? Because you're clearly late. You're still working on your last client. And I got bags to pack for a trip. I got places to go and people to see. Baby, you need to get this together. So, I ain't say nothing. I let her have it. I'm sitting in her little waiting room, waiting area, waiting for her to be done. And luckily, she didn't take too long. Like, I'm not going to drag it. She ain't take hella, hella long. But I'm just like, eh. You know, if you already rub it the wrong way, the least you could do is be on time for my appointment. Like, she was watching a television show on her phone the entire time she was doing my nails. She would stop in between doing designs to, like, pay attention to what the phone was saying. She was, like, she had if she had airpods in her ear but she was like you know laughing that she was watching the show like not engaging with me at all and i'm a silent customer i don't want to talk to you anyways but i don't know usually when service providers watch tv while they do it while they're providing the service it's on a it's on a television screen that both people could watch but she was just watching her phone and you slowing yourself down because you're paying attention to this television show and i'm trying to be in and out let me know in the comments if I'm bugging. She was like pausing it, setting the phone up, you know, like setting the phone up, messing with the angles. Do my nails. Like I'm not, I'm not paying you to watch whatever TV show you're watching. I'm paying you to do my nails and that should be your so funky. So boom, she finished my nails. They're bomb. I give her that. She does great work. They're fantastic. And I, all things considered, I still tipped her. I don't really believe in not tipping service providers. I just don't. So that was the first time I went to her, y'all. So at this point, she done switched suites. She in a whole different area. I'm expecting she 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 uh she got her SHIT together. Like, okay, she will bust up a little bit. Y'all, this time she not watching TV, but she ordered pizza. I didn't know this was your lunch break, friend. I thought I was paying you to do my nails, not paying you to eat. Now, mind you, she didn't eat the pizza, but she did open that box and look and look in, and she was. It looked like she was real enticed to eat a slice of pizza, but I was I was waiting on her to do so. I'm sorry, I was waiting on her to put her hand in a box and pull out a slice because I know I know mother. Well, you're not about to sit here and eat in my face and then have your grimy, garlicky, crusted Parmesan fingers touching me and I don't want to smell that no and you you're not about to play in my face like that like the the amount she be charging to do nails you're not about to play me like that please be so for real she did it something else that bothered me was she she like handled the 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 whole entire suite of the salon like I think girls paid her um to be in that suite and her bathroom situation in there wasn't correct like you know how the toilet can be stomped up? It wasn't the toilet. It was the sink. The sink was stomped up. 
And like I'm trying to wash my hands while I'm in a restaurant and your sink not even together. Like and this is your shop. So this is on you. This is not on no one else. And I thought that was a little unprofessional because other girls before I walked into the bathroom was complaining about it. And I just felt like she should have had that like situated. These are things I've dealt with in the past. Let me know if you have any crazy stories because I would love to know. But now I don't have to deal with that anymore because um, I know how to do my own stuff. So I'm about to run through this process and I'm going to show y'all the final result. All right, y'all, so toes are done, nails are done. They are so cute. I feel like lately I've been doing a lot of crazy stuff with gems and whatnot, and I just wanted a simple, classic, classy look. So I was going to put chrome, but I'm like, I actually don't want anything extra. So now that all of my nails is did, it's time to do this hair. I'm about to get in the shower and give myself a really, really good scrub a dub dub because my scalp probably has a lot of build up from gel, from my knees, it's like that. So I will be back when it's time to blow dry my hair. <laughs> simply because I've been doing my hair for a really really long time and before myself it was my mom and it was like random people in between I do have a story of a random person in between though so I used to get braids a lot growing up right and my mom knew how to do them but sometimes she didn't have time to do my hair and she's very heavy-handed and I didn't like her always doing my hair because girl it would hurt so she found this lady one day, right? I don't know where she got this lady from. I had to admit at least 10 because, y'all, she left me alone with this lady. And this has nothing to do with the hairstylist. This is my worst hair experience because of my mom. Sorry, mom, if you ever watched this girl. Why would you leave me with that lady? I don't know her. She's stranger danger. Hello. So, my mom made sure that I had snacks, drinks, and all that good stuff. Girl, dropped me off and came back when my hair was done. And I don't know if she would, she being my mom, would do that with my little sister, Cassidy, at this day and age. Because I don't know. First off, I don't think my little sister is going for that. When I was younger, if I thought I was inconveniencing anyone in any type of way, I never spoke up for myself. So I'm probably thinking, oh, mom got stuff to do, girl. Don't bother her. Let her go run her errands. Even though you're scared, I wasn't going to speak up. She dropped me off at this lady house. Mind you, this lady got a thousand kids running around her house. And I think they all was hers. And they kept touching me. <laughs> like, she had a little daughter who kept, like, brushing herself against my leg and, like, was sitting next to me. She had to take breaks to feed them, get them together. She had to help them in the bathroom, change diapers, and some more. Like, my girl was doing a thousand and one things at once. I'm not sure her exact ethnicity, but I know she was African from, like, the food she was making. Um, and I wanted to try some so bad, y'all. She had offered me some, but I was like, no. In my head, stranger danger, it could be poison. That's literally what I was thinking. She asked me if I wanted some water. I was like, no. I ain't taking that from you. I don't know. I've always been very aware as a child. That's the one thing for sure. But yeah, she did my hair perfectly fine. It wasn't about the service. It was the fact that I was scared of her. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my Like, this is the exact curl I wanted. Like, effortless, but there. You see her. You see her. Ugh. Wait, because I'm actually obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. 
okay? But don't ever play with that girl. Don't ever play with that girl. She's not one of them. Y'all not messing with the kid. Y'all not messing with the kid at the maintenance at home. Y'all not doing it. Y'all, who you know? Who you know can lay their hair like this? Y'all see how, mind you, these are clippings. And where's my natural hair? Where? <sighs> Baby, where's my natural hair? Where's, where's, where's my natural hair? It's <laughs> right there. But you can't really tell. You cannot really tell. <laughs> you want to see the back? Maybe because the back looks just as good. Hold on, hold on. Y'all, get into her. I did my nails. I got my toes done. I did my hair. Now it is time to get into some lashes. So, I got this kit from Amazon. It's my first time trying it, but I really wanted something natural. Okay, so this is a kit that only has 9 through 12. That's literally the only lengths I want to use. So, yeah, let's see. My worst lash experience. Girl, low-key a horror story. So, boom. I was recommended this person by, by one of my old co-workers. So she was like, yeah, my my cousin or whoever she was, friend, cousin, whoever. You know, black people. Everybody is a friend, everybody is a cousin. So she was like, yeah, my homegirl, basically. We just gonna call her her homegirl. Do lashes, da-da-da. She only charged, da-da-da. She'll get you right. My you about to go on a trip to Atlanta. So I was like, bad. I need somebody to do my lashes. I'm gonna go to her. I'm gonna try her out. Big mistake. <laughs> I book, and she lets me know that um she's doing her bookings out of an apartment building, and it's her apartment complex. So she didn't give the um she didn't give that information out immediately, and I felt a little bamboozled because if I would have known that, I probably would have outsourced someone else because I don't like going to everybody apartment building. So, whatever, boom, I pull up. Mind you, she accidentally texted me the wrong address. She accidentally texted me the wrong number to the apartment, y'all. So, I pull up and I tell her, I'm like, oh, I'm outside. She's like, oh, okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, okay, the door's unlocked. All right. Y'all, I open the door to a random apartment building. Like a random apartment. Someone's random apartment. And it's not hers. Because she sent me the wrong address. Are you dumb? I'm 5'2". I'm by myself. And I am currently stepping foot in this random man's apartment. Because it's not hers. I felt so awkward. Um, So basically how the apartment was set up was... You walk in and it's a long hallway. So, first glance, all I see is like a chair and the arm to a couch. So, I keep walking. And, yes, you probably like, what, this random person's apartment was just open? Yes, it was. It was not, the door was not locked. I walk in and I see this man. And he was sitting at a table. And he looked up from his phone. And he was like, hey, when I tell you I turned my ass around so fast and I called the girl who's supposed to be doing my lashes, I'm like, hello, are you at so-and-so? Like, I just entered your apartment, girl. You're not in here. What's going on with tea? What is this? Like, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking the worst of the worst. She like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I missed the number. Like, I, I hit one when I was supposed to hit two type shit. So she realized I had me in somebody else's apartment. Girl, I could have got snatched and God knows what else. Because you playing around, not hitting the right numbers. So you can only imagine how terrified I was from that experience. <sighs> so anyways... She like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm like a couple doors down, just like driving around, parking this parking lot, and I'm gonna stand outside the door this time so you see me. I'm like, yeah, do that. Cause I'm about to take my ass home, cause you playing. So, as soon as I laid down, she was like, okay, like what style do you want, da da da. Um, I told her the length that I wanted, and she was like, what, you want them that short? And I was like, yeah, I kinda want more of a natural set. She was like, I don't even know if I have those lengths. Pardon? I'm like, I'm like, what you mean? I was actually confused. She was like, oh, I only do long sets. 
Well, let me get my ass right up because this has been a complete waste of my time because I don't want no long set. She was like, no, 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 no. Let me see what I can find in my stash. Hold on, BRB. She wanted to back and come out with more like lash stuff. And she ended up having 17, 16, 14 or something like that. Why aren't you advertising that these are the styles of lashes that you do so no one... No one comes expecting one one look and they leave out looking a, a completely different way because you got these long back, back eyelashes on their face. Like, that pissed me off. I didn't like my lashes. My lashes was way too long. Um, She gave me, like, real long spikes that I didn't ask for. I like a very, like, same, not same length, but I don't like spikes. I like straight wispy or straight full. I don't like spikes. She gave me spikes. I didn't ask for that. And it's like, once you lay down, you get your lashes done. It's not like you can get up and say, oh, I don't like this. Let's change it. Like, take this off and do it again. After laying there for two hours, like, you won't walk away with whatever you got because it's no going back. Okay, just like that, I'm back in. All the lashes are on. Have y'all ever seen a lash seal? like applicator look like this this is my first time this thing will come in handy but let's get into the lashes disregard my my acne girl but get into the lashes cute mm -hmm. i hope you guys enjoyed watching me get my nails toes hair and lashes done mostly by myself if you did enjoy please make sure to like comment share and subscribe comment down below what type of maintenance you want me to include in my next video and i'll see you in the next one bye mama